I had another mom reach out to me. This is for moms of young adults. So I'm gonna read you the situation and then speak from my heart. Here we go. My young adult daughters who are in their 20s are refusing to reconnect with their older brother who's 31. During a family vacation, there was a huge argument between them. Some of them were under the influence of alcohol at the time. My son got loud. It got to a point where my husband demanded that he leave the room and then later asked our son to apologize to his sisters, but he didn't do that properly. It was more like a, sorry, but you provoked me, rather than a sincere apology. The rest of our trip that was supposed to be so special was extremely tense. And since that time, my kids haven't spoken with one another. Our daughters are very close to each other and they live nearby. Our son recently moved to another city and has created his own life. He doesn't include us very much. I don't wanna give up on him or on the thought these siblings can work things out. It hurts my mama heart to have my kids not talking to one another when they always got along so well growing up. Help, that hurts my mama heart. Doesn't it hurt your mama heart? I mean, nobody wants our kids to be fighting whether they're two years old and four years old or you know 12 and 14 or 22 and 24 and 31, right? We don't want our kids to knock it along with each other. So what do you do? In an effort to keep this short, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do. And this is not as a parent who has experienced this with her kids, although my kids have very, very diverse uh, values and perspectives and I'm I'm blessed to say at this point they still get along really well. But I am the daughter and a sibling of um in in a family of origin that isn't speaking to each other and I know how much it's hurting my mom's heart. So let me say what I think you can do here mom. I think you can write a letter to your kids. And I think you can share your thoughts with them on how you feel about the situation and maybe give them an example or two from when they were younger and how well they got along or what one taught the other or, you know, just give them some examples. And the reason I say letter, I've used letters a lot, right? I've written to my kids at times when I needed to say something and it maybe was uneasy. I've used it with my husband. I have used it with my parents. And the thing about a letter is it allows us to really get all of our feelings and thoughts out. We can revise it before we send it. We can, you know, we can add things, but it allows the receiver to also be able to digest it on their time and in their own way, rather than having a conversation, which if he's living out of this out of town, then it probably doesn't make sense. Maybe you don't see him very often. I don't know. But the point is, if I were you, and this were my kids and they weren't getting along, I would write a letter to my children and I would tell them how I feel, not to guilt them, but because you obviously have feelings and you have every right to have feelings about the way your kids are getting along, not to shame them, not to blame anybody, but to let them know how you feel and to give them some examples of why it's really important to be able to get along as a family. That's my advice.